so many of us walk around with this voice in our head that colors the way we see the world. We believe that we understand what our experiences mean and where they fit in the grand scheme of things. Welcome to the Ignited Recovery Podcast, a new way forward for anyone looking for answers but feeling left out. If you've been searching for empowerment, triumph, and purpose, you've found them right here. You won't hear the same solutions and you're not going to have any excuses to fall back on because Ignited Recovery allows heroes to rise and become their best selves. I'm Dr. Adi Jaffe and I can't wait to be your guide on this journey. Are you ready to become an Ignited Hero? Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of the Ignited Recovery Secrets Podcast. I'm Adi Jaffe, and I'm so happy to be here with you today. And, um, you know, Sophie and I were doing a panel, or we were participating in a panel last night, and it was on intimacy and relationships and sexuality. And I love doing panels with my wife. It's actually incredible and amazing to me that we've gotten our relationship to a place where we can sit and be an example to other couples of what relationships are all about. And the panel was full of really amazing people that each shared their own very unique, very different perspective and experience. And there were a lot of lessons in the entire panel for me. But one of the first ones that hit me really, really quickly, and then Sophie and I talked about after, is one that I think is really important to talk about here today. And that is the matter of perspective. You know, so many of us walk around with this voice in our head that colors the way we see the world. We believe that we understand what our experiences mean and where they fit in the grand scheme of things. So if you had a very happy childhood and you played around on a bicycle and nobody ever fought around you and you had friends and it was always wonderful and beautiful and you had a smile on your face 99.9% of the time, you think that's normal. And I have to be honest, I envy you a little bit. If you grew up in a home and in a neighborhood where there was fighting all the time and drug use and shootings and, and craziness and violence, then that's what's normal for you. If you grew up somewhere in the middle, which I think is where most of us grew up, some fighting, some happiness, some dysfunction, that ends up being what's normal for you. And and the main point that I'm making is you will now consider that as normal really almost for the entirety of your life unless something's happened at some point in the middle to make you crack wide open and realize, oh my gosh, there are other ways to live or some people live in a completely different way of life. Now, obviously, that happened to Sophie and I. It happened to me around my drug addiction time. Uh, It happened to Sophie um, later on exploring the relationship that she had before me and after the cheating and all this stuff. It's happened multiple times. It's not like it's only happened once. And that's how we ended up on that panel is by being open so many times that we realized there is no normal. And so after this panel was over and people were sharing about gender conformity and being queer or gay and people were sharing about trauma and their own sexual experience, lack thereof, and the conversations they've had about in the past with their partners, or lack thereof, their relationship status, single, um, married, divorced, open, monogamous, living together, living apart, like the amount of variability was so intense that the overwhelming sense that I had was, again, this return to there is no normal, we're all just looking for our path. And the reason that I wanted to share about here today is that I feel like even though some of us have accepted that this is true, some of us have accepted logically that that's an appropriate way to look at the world, we still live inside of our heads all the time judging ourselves and others through our lenses. And so I'm going to keep here today really, really short, but it's it's Friday and you're heading into the weekend, you've got your family with you or your friends or your partner or whatever whatever it is that's going on in your life. And I have a challenge for you for this weekend. I have a challenge for you for the next few days of your life. I want you to look at every single person that is different than you, every single experience that you see around you that is different than yours. And I want you to do the opposite of judging it based on your present experience and Do the curious thing. I want you to look at those people 
these individuals around you. And I want you to write out a story where the way they are now with you, the way they've grown up, the way you see them is normal based on a set of experiences they had in the past, based on how they grew up, what their biology did to them, uh, what experiences they had, what environment they were raised in, what their life has been like until this moment that you see them. Because I think that if we can step out of our lens for just a moment and start looking at the people around us through the lens of curiosity and empathy, we can understand essentially everyone, even if we didn't have the same experience that they have. And importantly, if you struggle in your relationship, if you struggle with mental health, if you struggle with addiction, if you struggle with any of the things that we talk about on this podcast, I guarantee one thing. You open up your mind in this way and you start understanding people's experience, not through your own lens, but theirs. You're going to have a life that's much fuller, much more fulfilling, and maybe most importantly, your relationships in life will benefit and grow tenfold, a hundredfold, et cetera. Okay, so what I'd love for you to do is go run that experiment this weekend, screenshot this, and send me a DM or share on Instagram about your lessons. I cannot wait to hear how this felt for you. Um, I know where it's gotten me in life, and I hope it helps you too. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have an amazing weekend. See you all next week. Thank you for tuning in to the Ignited Heroes Recovery Podcast. I really hope you found the information here useful and that we'll see you back here next week. And look, I want to make sure that this podcast is the most useful it can be for you. So please let me know by emailing info at ignited.com if there are any specific topics or questions you'd like to have addressed. As usual, if you like this episode, I would love for you to leave us a five-star review and rating. Thanks and see you next week.